Yeah, this is a ring from Poor Man's Outdoors. Uh, got these old traps out. I think that we can start trapping here about Monday, I think. Uh, deer season be over. Another thing, uh, cold out today. Why it's working, so you won't want to do this in the house probably if she's around. She'd probably have a fit. So what she don't know won't hurt her, I guess. I get some of these old traps kind of worked up this year. I'm gonna go out there and I'll show you. I caught some there last year and a couple of these bendies and they won't set. So I'm gonna show you out there in a minute. Uh, I always try to check them every year before I take them out and reset them. So anyway, I'll get out there and I'll go out there and show you how I kind of do that. Yeah, this is one I used there last year. It's, it's a pretty new trap. We never used it one year and it wouldn't throw all the time. So uh, last year I got to looking at it. And the problem is, I uh, do that when we catch them on some of these other ones, we bend our deals. Uh, coyotes is pretty stout, and they'll move these, and these old traps get loose. So every year before I start, I like to make sure that goes down where that'll throw or not, but if it don't throw, of course it ain't going to do you no good. So, uh, a lot of them likes to bend these. But I don't really like to bend them that much because it seems like it goes up over the jaws too much. I just don't like to bend them. Some does. But like I say, see, this one won't do it, so I've got to adjust that a little. I, what everybody else does, this way me and my dad done it for years. Uh, we just take that, bend that out just a little, pull that all the way up there, and you can pull your pan up there. Okay, so now it's going to be set real high. See, when it goes down right there, it's released, so it's a little bit too much. Just take a little, little time mesh with it until you get it there. Right there, just put the one, just a hair more. That's all the way up. Right there, she's flatable. She's barely neck. So when she goes all the way down, you ain't got no, you ain't hitting there. So that'd be pretty fine, pretty fine set right there. Will be, and it'll throw. Like I say, I always like to check them all. But when you catch them, throw them around, catch them stuff. It seems like a Get mashed up again, so I'd like to see these. Push that all the way up there. Okay, now see this one is way down, and right there is where it throws at the bottom. So that one there is way down, but it will throw. But I'm going to scoot it back just a hair, because that's setting pretty fine. And I don't like it because it ain't going to throw over time. So I'm going to bend this one just a little bit. And I caught some coyotes in this one last year. They're a little harder to bend. <laughs> but I always like to make sure that them's all the way up. And then make sure that thing is throw. Because if you finally get lucky and get them in there, there ain't no use for them. Not catching them. So anyway, that's a tip that I do. Uh, a lot of them may not. But I always like to make sure that that thing's going to throw when it gets down there. I want it to throw. And like I say, I check mine after I catch a coyote. Because they will bend these. They can bend them. These here will get bent a little. These get sprung a little. The uh, coyotes are pretty stout. So there's a lot of things that can happen. Anyway, that's just my tip. So, you know, anyway, good luck. Hope you have a good time.